All right, well, you ready, little guys? It's time to go ahead and move deeper into the deep woods and see exactly what the mysteries of this place have for us. Let's do this. Oh, wow, it's so beautiful here. The forgotten path. Oh, wow. All right, how do we get around here? Is this a big old pile of stuff that we can do something about? Oh, it is! Hey, if I could destroy some of the litter of this world. All right, so these guys don't seem to be the kind that can do this. They don't know what to do about this. But I'm going to remember there's a big old pile of trash that we might be able to do something about right here. All right, what about this tiny little whirly do? Oh, it's just full. It's full of all of these little bits and bobs. Okay. Come on, Wake. Let's go ahead and see what's going on in this world. Oh, here's... Oh, there's another one of those, like... Rough dudes. Those rough and toughs. Get them, little guys! Oh, come on, little guys, you can get them! Here, maybe I need to have him. There we go. We're not gonna let him hurt you guys. I don't exactly know what he is, but anything that just shows up with a spear like that and starts poking at them, that can't be good. Alright. Meanwhile, we also get to clean up all of this trash and turn it into treasure. Wake seems like a really smart kid, so I'm sure he's going to find some way to make those really useful. Oh, look at that. Make all of these little pieces he's gathering into something really useful. Oh, hey, what's this? The Heartlands and the Grove. That way, huh? Alright, well, let's see if we can open this first. Oh, good job! Man, these are such helpful little buddies. I wonder if we're actually helping them to, like, clean up this world, because there's a lot of human trash around here. But one person's trash is another person's treasure, so... Alright, on it, little guys! Oh, hey! This is new! Poop fruit! The smelliest natural food in the world, but somehow still edible and nutritious. Okay, I don't know if I want to eat something called poop fruit, but... We are lost in the wild, so I don't know if now is the time to be picky. And loose parts. An assorted mix of nails, nuts, bolts, and scrap metal. These simple but versatile materials should be very useful for crafting stuff and repairing structures. Those sound like natural talents that Wake has, so pretty excited about that. Alright. More nuts and bolts. Oh, cool! So Spriteling Actions! Oh, look at that! You can have them do quick prep, you can have them drop items, deliver to stash, take held resources back to nearby stash box, break up into groups by type. We're gonna find more types of Spritelings! I kind of had an idea of that, obviously, but it's exciting to see it actually happen. Drop currently held resources, so you can be like, give! Like if they were a puppy! That's so cute! Alright, and actually that means that now, inside our bag, we have loose parts. They're also worth something. Interesting. Okay, and they're common variety. Oh, look at this! And you can actually find out the locations that you can find different things in, like the poop fruit. And apparently, if we eat it, we can actually restore some of our health, so... I can't even imagine that tasted good, but... Okay, that's not creepy at all. Um. Stop right there! Huh? <gasps> Who are you? Tea kettle weirdo! Get away from my trove of riches! How came you upon this hollowed meadow, O oh, tiny, unwrinkled old man? I'm not an old man, I'm twelve! Ha! <laughs> twelve is a number! Numbers can't be people! Nice try! <laughs> That's a good way to think about getting older, I guess. I'm trying to find someone. Uh, Scrap Heap? Hmm? A man named Greycoat gave me this crystal, and these little yellow guys helped me move a big rock, and... Crystal, you say? So it is true, then. Greycoat said that he found a potential new recruit. New recruit? To what? I am Scrap Heap. Master Builder and Tinkerer for the Green Shield Order of these Deep Woods. Oh, I'm Wake. I'm something of a builder myself. Wake, you say? That doesn't sound like it should be a name. How intriguing. 
Do you know where I can find Greycoat? Indeed! However... Oh, what's going on here? Hmm? Yes, yes. Safe. At the camp. Indeed. Who are you talking to? Is it that Greycoat guy? Russell said that? Ha! Huh, how droll! Hey, Brussel was the little twiggling who came to find us when we were crying because we were lost in the woods and probably lost in life. Yes, yes. Tomorrow would be best. I agree. Ta! Ahem. Apprentice! Apprentice? The day's light fails. We will not make it to the next camp in time. We must stay here through the night. Rest now if you can. I'll keep a watch most vigilant. Well, that's kind of nice of him. Man, his tea kettle and the little candle on his head, the little five cent thing for a tiny little like tea tag. He's just kind of cool looking. Okay, are we getting some rest? Okay, what? Why do you not rest? Is there something on your mind? Well, what was just howling in the darkness for one thing? Um, maybe what's a green shield? What's a green shield? Why, our order, of course. Protectors and stewards of these deep woods. Oh, wow. You know, the green shields kind of remind me of our wilder myth adventures with the, the green dawn. They were protecting the wild forest and the people as well. We protect the various creatures that dwell here, as well as mend the border to your world as needed. Oh, green shield. That sounds like something I would like to be, but I don't know if it fits Wake yet. But you can use, like, magic and stuff? Why, of course! Can't you? Not that I know of. Hmm, I'd wager you're more capable than you think. Maybe his magic is actually tied to the way that he was able to build that little vacuum. It could be tinker magic, for all we know. But of course, as with all skills, some individuals are quite more adept than others. Greycoat, for example, is likely the most capable among us. Although he's never been quite the same since he lost that other coat. Let's see, what about your name, Scrapheap? Scrapheap? Hmm? What's your, you know, real name? Scrapheap is my name. No, I mean, what was the name you were born? What was your name when you were born that your mother gave you? Oh, wake. I wonder if his mom was around or if she died. Never had another name that I can recall. I've always been Scrap Heap. <laughs> okay, and Greycoat? Always been Greycoat, as with all the others. The others? Okay, so it sounds like he's part of a really cool order called the Green Shields, and their job is to protect the deep woods and all of the creatures who live here. The ones who have a little bit of magic. Huh. Well, that's exciting. I wouldn't mind to be part of this order, but at the same time, I don't know if it's fair of me to be like, yeah, this is awesome, when I don't know what Wake's story really is. Would he be better off really leaving the human world and taking care of things here? Were things that bad for him? Rest now, apprentice. We rise at dawn. There's much to do. Say, what is it now? You want a PB&J? I could really go for a snack. Oh, he's such a sweet kid, sharing like that. I mean, he doesn't really know when he's going to get more food. PB and... Come here, get in on this. I'm starving. What a nice kid. Oh, a jelly confection. He's a good kid. Some of the best grow up in the roughest circumstances. I always think that that really shows that their hearts were... We're meant to be something special. Hmm? Wow, look at this. What is this place? Reminds me of Mushishi. But even here, there's little tracks of litter. Oh. Oh, hey. Wake. It's like... Dad? Hmm. This strikes way too close to home. Hmm. Hang in there, Wake. I 
hurts to be ignored like that. I know. Good morning, Master Wake. How was your slumber? Bad dreams or fine? Honestly, those are the kinds of memories you don't really share with others. You just cover it up and say it's fine. It was... it was okay. Hmm. If you say so. Oh, and I must beg your pardon. I couldn't help but notice your device. Yeah, it's my newest invention. What do you think? I think you're quite the genius. However, we may only we may be able to enhance it. If you care to, that is. Definitely. I even already have some plans I've been working on. Where do we start? Near this camp should be ample materials, quite literally lying around. If you were to bring me, say, five loose parts and 200 scrap, I believe I could augment this device in no time. <laughs> I think Wake is basically like... A, a companion to Fern Green and our Green family legacy because she's always building things with scrap too. It's fun to see that same spirit in them. And why don't you also hand off those plans of yours? I shall incorporate them. Really? Cool. I'm on it. I wonder if this is the first time technically an adult has ever wanted to like help out with, with some of the things that Wake wants to do. Alright, let's gather these up. All right, little guys, can I get a couple of you up there, one of you up here, and then maybe, let's see, drop, give, <laughs> just like having a puppy, but a puppy made of plants, which is pretty awesome if you ask me. All right, same thing here, buddies. We'll help clean up the area, literally turning all of this trash into treasure. All right, what about this one? Give that a little spin. I know we have plenty of pieces. Whoa. Yeah, I know we have plenty of pieces and we could easily complete this now, but, you know, it doesn't hurt. Oh, hey! I wonder. Can you guys go across the river? Whoa! They can! Look at that! That's really freaking useful! Well, look, and now they're gathering up all the little supplies. Okay, so they can't go into the water. But look at that! Not bad! Good job, little guys. Looks like we're gonna miss a couple nuts and bolts, but that should be okay. And also they're putting more things into the supply crate down there. Man, that's so interesting. And can I convince them? Yeah, so you can actually have them do like two different tasks in two different areas. If you split their attention like that. Not bad. And then the stash, hey, check that out. So then you can go ahead and you can transfer the things from the stash. That's really cool. All right. Wake, how goes your search? Bring me the necessary materials and I will enhance the butt guster. It's gut buster and I'm working on it. All right, so we have the plans, we have the resources, and now we have got all of the bits. Okay, we should be able to do that. Mobile repair cart from Scrap Heap, huh? All right, there. You got the, gus the Gut Buster Plus. Wake self-constructed vacuum, now augmented by Scrap Heap for added strength. Use low power to collect small things. And recall idle spritelings. Oh, that's useful. And affect lightweight obstacles. Use high power to suck up heavier objects like resources and spritelings. And to pull down trickier obstacles. All right, so low power and high power. Got it. There we are, one enhanced Gut Buster. Awesome, it's way more powerful. All in a day's work. Now I must secure a payload from last eve. If the spritelings haven't scattered it across the woods, that is. Huh. I will move on to the next area where my camp proper awaits. I thought this was your camp? I have set up several stations throughout the deep woods to be able to craft as well as, avo as safely avoid the night. During your time here, you may well have to do the same, tiny one. But worry not, the woods are nigh harmless under the sun's resplendent gaze. Just don't mistake a gumblop's placid countenance for kindness. Huh. It's all for now. Wait. No more instructions? Um. Can I call Greycoat? Oh, cool, I can. Look, there's three, four people I can call. So, Greycoat, now what? What can I do for you? Ah, you met Scrap Heap. Good. We're members of the Green Shield Order, stewards of these deep woods. Green Shields? Aye. We had another name once. We no longer recall it. 
We tend to the borders of this realm and protect spritelings and other creatures here from the... Well, perhaps that's a, ti a topic for a time yet to come. Follow Scrap Heap's instructions and keep an eye on the daylight. The dark is bad. Oh boy. Okay, that concerns me a little bit. Um, Scrap Heap, maybe you should give me some more instructions, please? Tips and tricks? Ah, yes. I have an intriguing new tip you'd like to hear. There exists a magical gourd-like fruit called a pip squash. Have you seen them? These things are chock full of spritling pips. As I'm sure you are aware, pips contain the sleeping spirit of a spritling. If you come across any pip squash, I would highly recommend breaking them open and collecting the pips inside. Having a solid stack of pips stashed away is just good herd management. Herd management, huh? It will ensure you can hatch more spritlings as needed. Uh, I have another bit of new info if you would like to hear. Be sure to experiment with ingredients at the crafting table. When choosing your first ingredient, compatible ingredients will remain highlighted, while incompatible ones will fade. This should help you deduce re recipes from your available resources. Uh, even more new things? The sprite will exist as a home and sleeping place for our spritling friends. Also as a place where you can manage your herd. You can choose which of these friends to join you at any time, as well as hatch any collected spritling pips, provided you have significant amounts of glint. Oh, so glint is the energy we got from those mushroom guys. What? More new energy? Look, okay, look, last tip, Scrap Heap, and then I need to figure out what we're going to do for the dark. You may encounter large boulders scored by deep cracks. I don't think I need to tell you that these could easily be demolished by a simple explosive. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll uh, we'll learn more from you next time, Scrap Heap. For now, I think I need to figure out... Oh, hey! All right, so... Nice! Oh, hey, little guy! So... Oh, I sucked him up! <laughs> so that's how you can use the high power to go ahead and get yourself another Spriteling. There we go. And can I also use it? Sweet! to suck some of those resources closer to me. Oh, hey, and what's this? All right, come on, you look pretty useful. The oople. Red, juicy, and delicious. Shaped like a heart, this common fruit provides mild healing benefits. Well, that's pretty awesome. And it looks like I need to recharge the high power. There we go. The high power of the gut blaster at times. But otherwise... That's so cool, we found another little Spriteling. Welcome to the group, little buddy. And we opened up the next area. And, aha. There we go. All right, not so bad. I think we managed to gather everything from over here too. But, look at this. Oh, it's so beautiful. All right, guys, we're definitely making ourselves some headway into the amazing adventures we can expect here in the deep woods. Oh, look, and I think it's one of those gourd things. How exciting. Oh, and we're also learning a little bit more about Wake's story. So if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. You never know how it might be the thing to end up helping rescue you in life. I think that curiosity is what's gotten wake this far. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!